picked up a KA signal right here on my Escort Redline 360. And let's see how far this is gonna be able to detect the police officer. Okay, the signal is getting stronger and stronger. And the signal is bumping up and there it is. He is right there. See them on the left right there? That's the police officer. He's got his radar gun and he's catching people's speeds right there. And now that I passed him up, you can see that the arrow has gone to the back where the police officer is and the signal is fading away. This radar detector is good and it tells me that there was a live KA band and this is probably from my radar. Yes, my radar detector picked up this signal earlier when I was on the way that direction. See, I'm headed back and I'm recording this video and I know where that guy was earlier. So it's good that it's giving me the heads up and it's good that it's working ahead of time. It gives me plenty of time in the city to slow down, adjust my speed and not get a speeding ticket. And made it back to the store. You know, there's been a few times that I've ever had speeding tickets before, but each time that I had speeding tickets, it was an increase in my insurance. It was the fine that I had to pay, the taking the time out of my day to go to the courthouse and pay for the tickets. The first time I think I got ticket coming back from the Bay Area, it was just passing through real fast on the freeway. It was going about 80 miles an hour in a 65. And I was just really keeping up with traffic, but out of nowhere, I just got hit and tagged with a fine. The second time, it was driving my newly, well, it was a used car that I bought. It was a Nissan 350Z, and these things can pick up speed pretty quick. V6, pretty lightweight. It had a six-speed stick shift, so I was just smashing onto the freeway, and I had my girlfriend at the time in the passenger seat. We were just going from on-ramp and switching lanes, and then turning the blinkers, switching lanes switching lanes and then pretty soon I was in the second from the last from the fastest lane in the very left and I hear this radar detector going off it's just be I had a Cobra it was just one of those really cheap Cobras but I got pulled over at that time so the cop was like you have insurance and I was like yes and he pretty much wrote me up for going like 90 in a 65 but it was a couple hundred dollars increase in insurance so lesson learned, you know, you got to have a good radar detector, not some kind of cheap Cobra one that isn't going to be detecting cops from far away ahead of time in advance and in all directions. It's very good to have that escort red line or some other kind of system like a Valentine or a, a long range detector like a unit in R7 because they can pick up the cop signals from very far, like sometimes a mile or more out before you actually see the cop. And, that's very useful so that you can adjust your driving habits and avoid a hefty penalty and ticket. Anyways, thanks for watching this video of my update on the Redline. It's been a minute since I did one of these updates on the Redline 360. And I don't know if they are shipping out these Redline 360s faster now that because of this whole COVID situation. I know it took me a while to get in stock, but I am glad that I have it in my vehicle been using it often every single day while I drive to and from work and to Dallas and back to we go long distances like that that takes like three hours and I noticed that it does catch a lot of speed traps all right till the next one I'll see you later peace